We're on the road. Where transportation goes, community grows. Welcome to On the Road with the MTA. And welcome to episode number 72 of On the Road with the MTA. I am Jay Gibbons alongside with Stephanie Kay from the MTA. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm great. Better than last week. We had that horrible snowstorm and we were mm-hmm. snowed in. And now it's what, almost what, 42 degrees outside. I have to tell you, I was driving in the car. I thought, wow, I feel kind of hot. I went to take my coat off. That must be a lot warmer. It was yep, 38 gonna, degrees. <laughs> it's time to break out the t-shirts and shorts. I know. All my friends are going to Florida right now. It's like, wait, that's not fair. They're not getting that warmth in. <laughs> Yep. But that's okay. It beats 40 to some days till spring, so I'm in. I'm good. That's, yep. Well, yep. The meteorological spring starts March 1st, actually. There you go. Yeah, March 1st, really? Yeah, that's how the meteorologists look at it. So. Oh, but March 20th is the first day of spring. Yeah, right? something like that. Spring, equi- is it spring equinox or spring, whatever they call it? It's spring. That's all yeah. I know. Like it's, <laughs> <laughs> starting to see the flowers. The tulips come up first. I always love that. Yep. They, they don't, I don't know how they know to break through that snow, but they come up and I love it. Oh, yes. But I also love that we have a really great guest today because I've been here for, I think, about a year and a half with with, uh, with working here at MTA. How long have you been here, Jay? Uh, uh, four, over four years. Yep. Four years, really? Okay. Yep. Well, we have a new member. She's been here for about a year and a half. She's a navigator to the Rides to Wellness, which is a wonderful program. Uh, and she goes out there and she makes partnerships with different agencies in the area. And she just recently made a uh, partnership with Mott Children's Health Center. And I'm so glad to introduce her. Her name is Chantella Shaney. Chantella, what a beautiful name. How'd your parents get that? Do you have any idea? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I want to say she used that song, Chantilly Lace. Oh, there yes. you go. I was, I was thinking about that. Yeah. Does that, mean, that, would, that's, that sounds like it could rhyme. And you're the only one I've ever met, so that's perfect. That's unique. <laughs> yeah. But I asked if you had children. You have four kids? Yes, I do. I have a college student and um, three high schoolers. Wow. I give you a lot of credit. Do you still have your hair? Are you pulling it out? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> barely. Barely. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, what are their names? Um, I have the twins, that's Deja and Dasmin. They're getting ready to turn 16 next week. I have a 17-year-old. He's graduating this year. And I have a 21-year-old, and he's going to college in Saginaw. Oh, my gosh. Twins and only a year apart from the other one. Wow, you have your hands (laughs) full, don't you? Yes, ma'am. That's incredible. So what is your college student studying? He is going for business management, but he's um, on a full scholarship for basketball. So he plays for Delta. Wow. You must be so proud of them. I am. Wow. We're proud of you because I know what you're doing out there is very important in our community. At MTA, we give free rides to veterans and their spouses. But there's also a lot of other people out there needing transportation, children especially. So now as MTA partners with these agencies, what does that mean exactly? Can you explain that to us? Um, well, when we partner with them, it's just basically saying that we're going to partner up and ma- make sure that these people get the transportation that they need. So typically, um, the company is funding the rides and we provide the transportation. However, um, how they receive their funding for it, they may go through the co- the client's insurance or they may have their own funding within their company that they use. But that is typically how we partner with them. Um, just eliminating the clients from having to find that transportation themselves. Well, can you tell us some of the agencies you're already working with now? I think you have six of them. Who are they? I do. I have Ascension Genesis Oncology. I have uh, quite a few McLaren departments, um, McLaren CM Patient Care. I have McLaren Foundation, McLaren Flint Hospital. I also have McLaren Oak Bridge. And then, you know, of course, Mark children's which is very special to me because that is the first one that i actually started up myself the others um were already established when i came well i know that mods children's health center is so important in this area because you know our kids are our future they're our babies Mm -hmm. and they do so much oh it's it is is the mods children's health center it's in flint they have dentistry they'll help kids with their dentistry they have um of like occupational therapy speech therapy mental health uh, the, the kids need to get their mental health. They need to get their help and their to make sure that they are healthy. And they have they offer so many different services there. Yes, they do. It's it's funny because I, my kids actually went there as a primary physician when they were small. So that Did was they? kind of unique for me. Yep. Yes, my mom, I think she doesn't go, there's a Mott's dental area where she goes and she can get like free cleanings if you're a certain age. I think anybody can get free cleaning actually. But that's always a good service too. So if somebody wants to be 
maybe they have an agency or they work with one and they would love to partner with MTA, how can they go about doing that with you? Typically, they will go to our director. Um, the director, she typically negotiates the contract that we will have with that, that agency. Um, and then they will take it to um, Hermie, who is our, our CEO of planning and development. And it's a long process of figuring out what the company needs and what we can provide. And they make those and they come together and decide what's going to be beneficial for everybody. And we just make it happen. Man, Harmony wears a lot of hats whenever I hear who's in charge of Harmony. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Poor thing. She does it all. But that is an important thing to do as well, to partner with these different agencies. Because, like I said, our children are our future. You have to get them to where they have their health. And, I mean, everybody's important when their health is concerned. You have to make sure that they can get there on time and, and have good provided transportation. I know Rides to Wellness has been around for a while and they've grown so, so quickly because the need Tremendous is out there. Thing. Yes. So tell us some of the best things about Rides to Wellness that you know. I say a great thing, which was very beneficial for my um, children, is that we provide our own seating. So we provide infant seats, uh, booster seats for the children. Um, so that that's very helpful for families that don't actually have access to those resources. Um, there's a lot of great things about the transportation. I have people call all the time and, you know, they state how wonderful the drivers are to them, how, you know, they were very helpful. Um, it's just a, a blessing to be able to see how we are able to help these people to be able to get these health needs that they, they're, they're, they're vital to them. Well, is so true too. And I know that we need drivers right now. And they, the drivers, people are looking for work. Being a driver is so important because you're helping the community. You're taking maybe a veteran to his doctor's appointment and you're providing mm-hmm. a service to somebody that maybe not get there if they didn't have MTA to take them. Right. Uh, somebody told me. Yeah, four- we have veterans going all the way to Ann Arbor sometimes. So, you know, that's right. a hard mm-hmm. thing for someone living in Flint to get all the way to Ann Arbor. And so that's, that's great to be able to provide those people, you know, they service the country and we, we love servicing them too. So if someone is listening and they're thinking, hey, I'd like to have Rides to Wellness take me to my doctor's appointments, maybe they're a veteran or even a spouse of a veteran, what number can they call to ask more questions or to get a ride from Rides to Wellness? Yes, they can contact R2W by the number 810-780-8946. And we also do funding through DHHS. So the, um, if they have services through the Department of Health and Human, Human Services, they can also contact us through them as well. Well, I have heard that sometimes people's insurance will pay for their medical trip. So if they don't have the funds and they want Rise to Wellness to take them to their doctor, they might want to check with their insurance company. Just ask, I need medical transportation. And sometimes they will apply and be able to pay for that as well. Have you heard about that? Yes. We actually tell clients all the time, call the number on the back of your insurance card because they do help those clients with getting transportation. Perfect. Yeah, I know sometimes Medicaid has that as well. They'll pay for a certain amount of trips as well. And veterans, I love this, the veterans and their spouses, and even if they have children that are dependent upon them, they get six free rides each a month. So the spouse yep. gets six free rides, and so does the veteran. And you can, yes, they do. you can call the Veterans Department. That's 810-250-3068 to make sure that you are registered. And once you're registered with the Veterans Department, you're automatically in with MTA. So we can take it where you need to go with Rides to Wellness. Excellent. Sure. Yes. sure thing. So, yeah, definitely. If you're looking for a job and you'd like to be a driver for Rides to Wellness, I know they treat you well over there. You get your birthday paid off, which is nice. Mm-hmm. All sure. the holidays <laughs> paid, which is great. And you're helping the community. So you can find all of that information on our website, which is www.mtaflint.org. That's mtaflint.org. You can look for job off openings or the um, routes that we have. So there's so much to be offered. So uh, how, how are you enjoying being a navigator for Rides to Wellness? I actually love it. I love it. I've always been in management, but it's quite different. Um, So managing agencies is a little different. Um, I I enjoy the aspect of, you know, the companies reaching out and I can fix any solution problems they may have. It's it's great. No complaints here. Yeah, when you're helping somebody, I mean, what could be better than that? That's right. I know. We make Jay work extra hard, don't we, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. In more ways than you'll ever know. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. true. <clears throat> but I had heard someplace, and this might be wrong, it may have grown since then, but that more than 4 million people will miss their, their appointments, doctor's, appointment, yeah. doctor's appointments or dentist appointment, whatever it might be, because of transportation. I was I was shocked when I heard that number. Yeah, I know. I just couldn't believe it. 4 million. That's I know maybe more than that now. 
So we're there for you, though, aren't we? We're going to be there for MTA to get you to where you need to go. So that number again is yes, 810-780-8946 for rides to wellness to make sure you get to the doctor's appointments that you need to get to. So thank I know you've got another meeting you have to go to. It's not going to keep you, but is there any last-minute things you'd like to let us know or last-minute words? Um, no, I'd just like to let anyone know that that knows someone that's struggling, maybe need rides to get to health services. We even do grocery shopping, things of that nature. Um, just give us a call, and we're happy to help. Good point. Even getting to church, that's important. You know, we can get you anywhere you need to go. Mm-hmm. MTA is there for you. Well, thank you, Chantelle. I know you got to get back to doing your busy schedule over there. We're keeping you busy, too. So thank you for taking your busy time out of your busy schedule to talk with us. I appreciate you having me. Well, thank you. And thanks for listening out there. We always try to bring you something really interesting, a free service out there. There's so much in the community. And if you find that you would like to have us talk about your services, if you'd like for us to promote you, how can they get a hold of us to be on the air with us? It's very easy. All you have to do is remember one email address, and that's podcasts at mtaflint.org. When you say podcasts, is it with an S at the end of it? It is with an S at the end of it, yes. Podcasts at yep. what? Yeah, at mtaflint.org. Do you Perfect. know how to spell podcasts? I do. P O D C A S T S. That's it. Yay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thank you for listening. Hopefully, we'll be talking to you next time right here with On the Road with MTA, Stephanie K., and of course, Jay. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to On the Road with the MTA. For more information on our services and community outreach, visit us online anytime at www.mtaflint.org. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The MTA, your community, your connection, your way.